Hey guys, Denise here with Print Aura. Today we're just going to do a really quick overview about how you get started. So the first thing you want to do is sign up. So you can do that by clicking the sign up today button here. So all you need to do is fill out the information listed here and then submit it. You'll get an email and you can use a link there to activate your account. So after you've activated your account, you can go ahead and log in. Anytime you log into Print Aura, you'll need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and log in here. So now that I've signed up and I've logged in, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up my brand. I can do that by clicking on this tab here and clicking on brand settings. We have more detailed videos showing you how to fill out each of these pages. This video is just going to serve more as a general overview. So you're going to want to go ahead and fill out all of this branding information. If you run into trouble here, you can always look up our video on how to set up your brand. So after you're done setting up your brand, you're going to want to choose a platform. So when we say platform, we're just referring to an online selling platform. So a platform would be something like Shopify or Etsy or BigCommerce. If you're not sure which platform to choose, you can click here and look at our integrations. We have all of our current integrations listed on this page. We also provide an e-commerce platform comparison. So you can go through and see if we offer automated fulfillment, which we do for all of these. You can look at the website's fees. You can see if they have a marketplace or not. You can see about how long they take to set up, and you can see if they require your own hosting. So after you've done your research and you've chosen the platform that you think's right for you, you can set up your account on that platform and then come back here to this page and install our app. When you install our app, it'll integrate with whatever platform you're using. So let's just say, for example, that we want to install the Shopify app. We would just click here. So as you can see, we have an installation video here that will go over with you all the specifics of how to install the app. It's really quite simple. I'll give you a quick look at it. All you need to do is paste in the URL of the shop that you have set up. And then you can just click install and it will integrate with Shopify. It's really simple. It seems like it's this complicated process, but it's actually just a copy, paste, click, and you're done. So after you've installed our app, the next thing you need to do is start thinking about your artwork. So now that you've signed up, you've set up your brand, you've chosen a platform, and you've installed the app, the next thing you need to do is start thinking about your images. So whether you're about to start designing or you already have designs created that you want to sell on products, you need to make sure that those designs meet our artwork requirements. So to check those out, you need to come up here to the images slash mockup tool tab and click on image size slash format guide. This page will give you all the information you need as far as our artwork requirement goes. It gives you our accepted file types, the color profile that you need your artwork to be in, the resolution it needs to be, and then also if you scroll down, it will give you specifics like what size your artwork needs to be at. So as soon as you've gone through here and read all of our image requirements and prepared all of your artwork for whatever products you want to offer that design on, the next thing you'll need to do is upload your art. And you can do that just by clicking on the My Images slash Mockup Tool tab and clicking on My Images. So now that your designs meet our artwork requirements, which the general ones are stated again above here, you can click to agree the upload rules and add your files. So after you upload your artwork, you need to create a mockup. So at this point, you should already know which products you want to offer this image on. So let's say you sized your image to meet the artwork requirements needed for a t-shirt. So it's really easy to create a mockup. You just need to come back up here to my images slash mockup tool and click on the mockup tool. So if you haven't actually decided on a t-shirt yet, you can look through here and see what kind of styles you like. So let's say that I already decided on an American Apparel Fine Jersey Short Sleeve Women's Tee. Just going to hit OK. So then it'll load the t-shirt and the model for me, and all I need to do is click this tab that says Images. I want to go ahead and choose one of my already uploaded images. 
And let's say that I want to do this bear here. So now the bear has uploaded on my mock-up and I can just kind of move him around to where I want the print actually positioned. The point of the mock-up doesn't have anything to do with the size, it just has to do with the placement. So I think I want it right about there. I can choose the color. Pink looks kind of weird. I think I'm just going to go with a gray. So I think that looks pretty good. So now all I need to do is just click Generate Mockup. Great, so now my mockup's been generated and I can save the file. And when I click to save this file, it'll save it to my images. And it'll let me know when it's done saving right here. So it's told me it was successfully transferred to my images. So now I have my image and I have my mockup ready. So the next thing I want to do is order a sample. This is optional, but it's a really great way to check out the quality of our work and also to check out how your design looks on the t-shirt. Sometimes people think they have the image requirements correct, but maybe they made a mistake somewhere. It's really great to just get the sample in the mail and make sure it's up to your standards. And you can do that by coming to orders here and submitting a manual order. We also have a video explaining how to do that in greater detail. So after you've gotten your sample and you feel comfortable with the way that it looks and you feel confident about sending it out to your customers, the next thing you want to do is set up your products. So you come here to my products and click add product. We also have another video going over in greater detail about how to do this. It's very simple. You add your products here and they automatically show up in your store. After you've added your product using Print Aura, we will be automatically sent your orders. It really is that simple. So the last thing you need to do is set up your billing. So you want to click here where it says billing and go to deposit fund slash auto billing. So the easiest way to set up billing is just to set up automatic billing. So this way, when someone orders a t-shirt from your shop, you will automatically be paid and we will also automatically be paid. This way you don't have to worry about anything. There is also an option to deposit funds so that you will just have an account with money in it, but that gets a little complicated sometimes and it really is easier just to set up the automatic billing. So after you've done all of this stuff, you are ready to go. You can start focusing on marketing your products and just paying attention to your business and not having to worry about order fulfillment because now that you've gone through all of this, when someone orders something from your shop, we will be sent the order. We will print out the product. We will ship it to your customer. We take care of all of that. If you have any other questions about how to get set up with Print Aura, please let us know. We try to make this as simple and easy for you guys as possible. I really hope this video helped you guys understand better how to get started with Print Aura. And again, if you need help with some of those steps on a more detailed level, please look to find some of our other videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye.